Welcome back to Sara Television with me, Michael Jackson. And joining us now in our studio is Gary Clifford from InfoSlips, where he's the business development officer. The reason Gary's here with us in studio right now is he led a superb panel discussion on day two at the Sara conference on TRS, Total Reward Statement. Wow, I mean, you had people in, Gary, welcome to the studio. You had people in who were Sara members talking about success stories from Tiger Brands, from the Clicks Group, from Vodacom and from Deloitte. TRS is a hot topic right now. Um, what was the essence of the panel? So the idea was that um, we wanted to show people that as InfoSlips, we have implemented total reward statements for several clients. And we wanted to give those clients the opportunity to come and sit on the panel and just you know, convey to the audience what some of the um, experiences were in terms of that implementation process. Obviously, the pros and the negatives to it. You know, yes. As we very well know, um, in terms of implementing total reward statements, it's not something that's kind of fly by night. It's not something that's, that's done um, in a day or two. Um, there's a lot around it. You know, there's a lot of stakeholders that are involved in the project to get it right. Um, there's a lot of challenges around data. You know, you've got to look at uh, different providers that you need to engage with to try and get data to populate into this total reward statement. Um, but, but ultimately, I, I think the key thing that we wanted to get out of it was to showcase that it was a positive experience ultimately. And it was And very rewarding. differently applied by our four absolutely. panelists at many Ab levels. Absolutely. It's not a one size fits all. Um, they all had their own different experiences in terms of implementing these total rewards. Um, but at the end of the day, I think uh, the general consensus was it was very much worth the experience and they've had some fantastic benefits, not only for their organization, but also for their employees as well. Why is TRS such a hot button at the moment in the reward mm. industry? I think because um, ultimately organizations need to try and, and give their employees a holistic view of all of their benefits and rewards. And it's not such an easy thing to do. Yeah. If you think about it, you know. Quite complex. Again, you've got to try and look at different data sources, engage with different providers. You've got to look at things like payroll and pension provident and medical aid, you know, share schemes, et cetera. And then try and combine that into a kind of holistic single view for your employees. And a lot of these organizations might have some or other, you know, employee self-service environment that they, they offer to their employees. And those, those environments are, are typically very good at conveying cash benefits, mm -hmm. but they kind of tend to fall a little bit short in terms of showing some of the non-cash benefits or some of those non-tangible benefits and rewards that employees um, enjoy by being employed by the, the organization. And obviously a total reward statement um, is a very effective tool for not only showing the cash benefits, but also some of those non-cash or intangible absolutely. benefits. Absolutely. And employees that receive a TRS are yes. absolutely thrilled by them. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, as, as our clients attested to today, I mean, their employees, they have some, some fantastic uh, uh, sort of feedback and experience from those employees and also from within the organization as well. So for them, I think it's, uh, it's, it's been a, a great experience and um, one that I think they'll progress with in the future. Magnificent. Thank you for holding the panel. Thank, Thank you for being at SARA and a pleasure for you being on SARA TV as well. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.